last video I made this top which I absolutely adore and I still have some of this fabric left over. During the summer and the spring I basically wear tank tops and camisoles because I get super warm. I was thinking with this fabric I can make a camisole. I also have about two yards of a similar fabric just without the embroidery that I can use for the rest of it that I can't get out of this fabric. So my main thought is to use this fabric and to basically cut it in half so I've got the front and the back and I'll sew it along the sides. And as you can tell, this is more than I need to go around my waist. I'm going to do box pleats here in the front because I want the front to be pretty smooth. And then I'm going to gather in the back. I also want to be able to wear it underneath this. This actually gives me the support that I like versus the elastic and lycra and whatever mix tank tops that I have that are starting to wear out. They don't have quite the support that I like out of this because by the end of the day, I'm about four inches lower. <laughs> Gravity, it's a thing. I want some of it to be peeking out around these edges. Other thing that I was doing, and I mentioned this last video, was playing around with the idea of taking this piece and over dyeing it, giving it a little bit deeper color. So I was doing some dye experiments we can take a look at those. Editing me here. I lied. I actually only did about half of the dyeing experiments that I wanted to do and they were already taking up a long time. So I'm going to continue to do dye experiments and I'm going to put those in yet another video. Sorry about telling you I was going to do them in this video, but you know, things happen. Long story short, the dyeing that I did with these experiments didn't work out for this project except for creating a design with bleach. That's what we're gonna see and I will get back to you with the other dyes later, okay? Bye. Having just watched Evan and Caitlin do some bleaching hacks, I'm gonna make a stamp. Before I jump into the bleaching, I want to make the modifications to my pattern so that I can place the flowers that I'm going to be bleaching in good places. The drafting is pretty simple. To start off with, I defined a neckline such that it would peek out from beneath my black top when I do wear it with that. The side dart I swung down to be lower so it would line up with the top of the tie that I'll be including in the side seam so I can tie it around the back. Instead of doing a full dart under the bust, I'm actually going to treat this as a tuck. So I'm only going to sew up the dart about two inches and leaving the peak unsewn. For the back, because I wanna be able to slip this over my head, I am ignoring the dart. And then I add a half inch onto the side seam. Then I just measure up from the bottom up to where I want the top to be, and that's pretty much it. You see, this is why I can't finish a garment in a single weekend, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah.
No. Because these should not be out. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Gonna take a break. <laughs> I believe I have figured it out. The order of operations for this flying spaghetti monster of a top. So, what I did was I sewed the top edge of the back in trapping the straps. I might need to change where these are, but right now they're they're in place. I just sewed the top edge of the front, but I have not ironed it yet. It is still there. And then I butted this edge right up to that edge and encapsulated the backs inside the fronts with the tie strap in between the exterior front and back. So I still have to sew this and sew this side and I'm fairly confident I've like done some testing where I turned it right side out with the pins and it looks like I've got it the right way around. I've got the twill tape here on the lining side so that that'll provide that little bit of extra underbust support once I've got it all sorted out. So then after I get these, then it'll be addressing the skirt portion of the top. Got those sewn. Moment of truth. That looks good. And yes. All right. Success. I have figured out the puzzle. Okay. So now I just have to do some ironing. Figure out. Oh, I have to clip my clip my corner here. And here and figure out the sizing for my straps. Woot!
wrong sides facing. I ironed in where my final seam is going to be. With it folded over, I matched up my pattern. Then I have unfolded it. Going to sew it a quarter of an inch away from where my final seam is, which is currently pressed in place. Trim it down, turn it, and sew it again on this final seam. So open it up and see what I got. Ha <laughs> ha! Huzzah! I think I did even better this time around than I did on the first time. Seriously, brain teaser. Broke my brain, but I got it.
Okay, so design, I am going to give this a C slash N. Actually, we're going to do it the other way around, an A slash C, because I think the top portion, I really liked. The bottom portion, eh, could be better. The material, I really liked. We're going to call that an A. Complexity, not very complex at all. So this one, I'm going to, well, other than the pattern matching, so that gets an A. My rafting skill. I think I could still stand to improve. Comfort, right now, it's it's really only about a B because I still need to adjust the, uh, the arm size. Uh, will I make it again? Yes, with an asterisk. I probably want to try one that is cut on the bias and I want to try maybe after that one, um, one where I interface the entire uh, front facing. So overall, I'm gonna say this is a A slash B because the, you know, it's gonna get me through the summer and and that's my goal. So overall, I'm pretty happy with it. There are, of course, some alterations which I need to make, such as lowering the arm side. It, uh, it fits, but it could be a little bit more comfortable. So I'm just gonna lower that down about half an inch, which unfortunately, because of the construction style of sandwiching the straps in between all four layers, I need to actually undo the side seam a little bit to do that. So it's a thing. But one tip that I do have about things like this, if you're not sure on the fit, don't sew in the lining. Wear it for like a day and then sew in the lining because if you leave yourself the ability to go in and alter it after you've worn it for a day, you're going to be a lot happier. So that's one of the things that I do intend to do with that. And that'll probably mean these straps might even come in a little bit here on the front, which will be good because as it is, they're a little bit further out on my shoulders than I think I want them. And that's just where they fall. Like I pinned them where they were comfortable, but then they just don't want to fall further out. So when I make the adjustments to the underarm seam, I will in fact probably move these in. I think I probably want to go ahead and grab some lace while I'm at the stitchery, stitching and stitchery and sewing expo, the sewing expo down in Fiala this weekend. Um, grab some lace to embellish the top just because I think it could use a little something more. I am looking forward to making more of them with different fabrics, uh, trying it on the bias, as I mentioned. Um, I'm not sure if I like the tuck versus the dart. I think maybe it needs to be a little bit shorter. Like if I shorten it to here instead of here, so that's what, an inch difference? Yeah, and I think that's just a me thing. I do also want to try interfacing the entire in interfacing just because I think that'll actually give me a little bit more lift if that has more, like I can shorten the straps, but there's only so far you can go with the fabric being as non-structural as it is. I think another reason to play around with different fabrics is this fabric does wrinkle extremely easily. So right here at my waist, I've got wrinkles. They're just gonna be there. It's not a fit issue, it's a fabric. I did go ahead and do more dye experiments and I've already shot most of that other than doing an intro and an outro. I just need to edit that video together, which means the next video will be coming along pretty soon, maybe next week. As I mentioned, I'm going to Sew Expo tomorrow. I did kind of jump the gun on how soon into the year I made this. It tried to snow yesterday, <laughs> but the blossoms are going. But I'm gonna go throw a sweater on over this. What was that, like late 90s where it was like a fad to have a cami peeking out from underneath an oversized sweater? Yeah, so that's gonna be my look today. <laughs> Anyway, thank you for joining me along this journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you next time. Bye. What you doing? You always know when I'm going to do some ironing, don't you? Yes, you do.